Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm out behind my barn storage area, just inside our woods here, and I noticed a large oak branch that fell, or decent size, probably 20 foot long, and it fell out of this massive oak tree right there, and it's dry and ready to burn, so I thought I'd uh, come out here and cut it this morning. It's kind of a dreary day, you know, it's a light, light mist, and uh, there's not much I can really do. Uh, I just got back. I just got back from delivering 75 bundles to uh, my campground here. I am wearing this hoodie. It's the first time I wore it. It's like 60 degrees, and like I say, a light mist. I'm already starting to sweat. So normally I wear hoodies when it's below 50 degrees. But like I said, I just got back from the delivery, and I thought I'd wear it in this video. Let me start off by saying if you're uh, new to this channel, welcome. I know I've picked up a lot of new subscribers lately. I'm closing in on a magic number of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I make all firewood related videos. This is the second channel I had to make. As a, you can tell by the name, Joe's Firewood Videos 2. My first video was a uh, hack, scam by hackers. And uh, I, lost, I lost that channel because they started uploading the view and then YouTube terminated it and I got it back, but now it's uh, suspended. So I'm working on getting that back. But in the meantime, I've made this channel and, and all firewood videos. And I know, um, so I know a lot of you new subscribers are here thanks to uh, the video I made with Jamie a week ago. And I know everybody's saying, we want Jamie, where's Jamie? We want another Jamie video. Well, her, her uh, place of business, she has like a regular job full-time job and and they're short-handed so she's been working all week she hasn't had a day off and whenever she gets a day off she might not want to come and do some hard work for me I'm just just letting you guys know but the next time she works what I'll probably do is make three to five videos of her and then just release one once a week so you get your Jamie fix once a week you know and, and just do something like that then then uh uh, as far as Mike goes, you know, everybody's, where's Mike? Where's Mike? Mike playing games? Well, one day he's sick. Then the next day his back hurts. Then the next day it's raining. And then Nicole, she has been in the hospital. She's been having chest pain. Nicole is his wife. She's been having chest pains for like the last 10 days. So he wasn't able to come for her. And now it's been raining like every single day. We've had five or six inches of rain since Friday. So I, I feel like I live in Seattle with D Daniel Atkins, you know, because all it does is rain here, you know. I, I, I'm over it. I'm sick of it. So I just wanted to give you updates on those two. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the action going. I'm going to move the camera down here so it's closer so you can see what's going on. I got my garbage garbage uh, pail tripod set up. I got, I'm using the 460 today. I haven't used that for about a month. I don't like the saws to sit, you know. And as you guys know, or most of you know, I'm so busy I don't have time to cut. So I either pay Mike to cut or buy logs or buy processed firewood from competitors. So. <clears throat> you can see I got the wheelbarrow down here. Mike's had my quad. Mike's had the quad and trailer you know, all summer basically, it's probably since May, April, May. It's over at the other guy's house right now, so I'm gonna have to wheelbarrow these pieces up to my truck. That's gonna be fun. I did warm up the saw, so it should start. Put the headphones on. Well, let me, uh, let me, let me pose for the uh, thumbnail picture. That look good? All right. And, uh, oh, and I'm not wearing my chaps today. I know I'm going to get an earful from Pam. I don't care. My, my rule is if I'm going to run the saw in less time than it takes to put on my, my chaps, I don't need my chaps. Because this shouldn't take very long at all. I forgot my gloves. Oh, well, it's too late now. Idols now. This piece I'm going to cut off a piece of boiler wood on the end. 
That area is buried. If you were there with that fell down, I would have easily killed you. That's why they call him Widowmaker. I hope these don't roll down the hill when I cut them. Watch me grant all these up and down the hill with a wheelbarrow. Not gonna put too much in there though. I might try to get them all in because there's three pieces, a few pieces of boiler wood I'm just going to let stay. So I don't have to make two trips. But it's going to be a lot heavier. Thought it'd be fun going up a slip rep wet hill. Where's Zach when you need him?
Sorry, Pam, I'm breathing hard. It's not easy. It's not easy being me. All right. I hope you're enjoying the show, Leonard. Let's get her done. I think I'm gonna have to walk backwards. It just won't trip, trip on anything. Now you see why I charge so much for my wood. So, so I'm having mixed results so far. I had two guys call me yesterday. They didn't like the new price. The chances are they wouldn't have paid my old price anyway. So then I had a new guy call me this morning. He's over 50 miles away. I told him $225 for the oversized truckload delivered. He said, I'll take it. So they are willing, there are people willing to pay it. And that's why I'm saving the wood for them. <sighs> Hope there's no stumps. I can do it. If I don't have a heart attack, nobody's home. Yeah. Now, you also see why I like having the quad here. Hopefully, I can get it back soon. I think the guy wants Mike out of there by, uh, I think by the end of October. So, yeah, all this, I did all this after I split it, you know. All this work for probably 10 bucks worth of firewood. But it only took me, you know, it's only going to have taken me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most, you know, once I split it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. Give me to a thousand. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for staying to the end, Jake Morris. We'll see you guys at the next one.